what just happened? I don't know. Is Chloe going to be okay? What happened to Chloe? We're going to talk about that. And the sloth, who I think wins least exciting animal of the year award. Next on the Zoo After Show. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Welcome, everybody, to another After Show of Zoo here on After Buzz TV. I'm Cameron Lewis. That right there is Jordana Morphin. Hello, everyone. What's up? What's going on, Jordana? What's Where can on? the people find you? You guys can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at Jordana underscore Morphin. All right. You can find me at The Only Camshaft. And, of course, James Lott Jr. is everywhere at James Lott Jr. He has a night off. But we shall see him soon. He'll probably appear in the chat somewhere. Yeah. We already have some of the regulars in here tonight, or uh, Jordana, the YouTube chat. Mm-hmm. We have David Baldwin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Isabel Enoch. Diane Sutherland. Lei Jen. A couple people are agreeing with you, by the way, oh. that tonight's show was a little underwhelming. A little boring. Why, why, why do you think that? You know, it was a little boring, and then we had the sloth come in. I think that just made it a little boring. I think we just, it was just focusing on that storyline a lot. Just like, yeah. you know, we need to find the sloth. The sloth is, you know, it has the whatever. The earthquake ability. The earthquake ability. Apparently. Yeah. So I think it was just so focused on that. That was literally, like, the whole episode. Yeah, I mean, the sloth is, like, already underwhelming. I think the most entertaining sloth I've ever seen was on uh, Zootopia. Did you see that movie? Yeah, yeah, I agree. We should have watched that and done a review for Zoo. Uh, By the way, hey from uh, Ottawa, Canada. Aaron Veitch in the YouTube chat. Ottawa, Canada, a few New Yorkers. Um, I agreed with you. Tonight's episode was a little underwhelming. It didn't seem like too much was going on. The last five seconds, of course, was very exciting. I think that was the most exciting part of the whole episode. Because we see uh, we see <laughs> Chloe apparently dying or not dying or what happened. I don't understand. Yeah. But we started tonight's show with a sloth getting shot in a tree. Okay. My reaction and your reaction, you guys... Cameron choked on popcorn when this poor little sloth got shot I'm off the sorry. tree. What? Yeah. yeah. Did you not sh- see this? He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't shot. This he was uh, tranquilized. I want to know what everybody else thought of this that whenever it soul. happened. Here's the thing. It gets shot at the beginning of the show. And it's like, go! <laughs> when it falls to the ground. He I just love like, sloths. He like cartwheeled off. It was like, go! So ridiculous. Poor thing. Uh, David Bowen, YouTube chat. Sloths are sleep all the time and slow, boring animals. You are yes, so correct. So true. Uh, I went to high school with one. Lots of love in the in the chat there for Alexis, by the way. Um, so yeah, so we see a sloth get shot and he falls down, and that's like, okay, what even happened? Mm-hmm. Obviously, we find out more about the sloths later. Um, we we see Jamie and Logan in the woods. They're freezing to death. Poor. And they have to decide what to do. Yeah. Uh, and they have the bag of money, obviously. And here's the interesting part. Would you, Jordana Morphin, yeah. burn forty, fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars the same way Jamie was willing to burn it for warmth? I mean, probably at that point I don't have a toe. Right. I'm freezing. Yeah. I'm hungry. Everything around me is wet and cold. Yeah. What what I mean, I guess she could have used Logan for her warmth. But... Uh, well, oh, see? <laughs> now, I thought you they see? were going to do that last week. I thought they should have done it. Like, I just don't think... I I think it might happen later on. Yeah. But, again, Jamie is so confused with this guy. She's probably I don't trust him. Yeah. Let's just burn his money anyways. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, at that point, like... Obviously, the world ending, I mean, you probably don't need that money anyways at this point. I thought it was a little bit silly. Yeah. That Logan was like fighting back. Yeah. I mean, it's like, come like, on, guy. Come on. You, you, you realize that if you're not alive, you can't use the money yeah, either? Exactly. Come on. The wolves are going to use it. So. By the way, there's several people in the YouTube chat hating on the alligator uh, from tonight's show saying that it looked terrible. Mm-hmm. It looked overly digital. It was very overly digital. It was. It was silly. It was silly. It was right. definitely silly. Hey, mm-hmm. Isabel Enoch, I'll give James your best. Um, so anyway, so we, we see that happen. Um, they, they burn the money and, uh, they're surviving. Everything is going to be okay. Um, then we, we see the aftermath of Jackson telling Mitch about his mutation, about Mm -hmm. his problem. Mm -hmm. Um, and he says, you know what? Like if you can figure this out or Mitch says, 
if I can figure this out, I can help any animal. Because Jackson at first was like, hey, I don't want to distract you. Mm -hmm. I want you to focus on saving the animals to fix that situation. Right. And Mitch said, hey, you know, if I can fix you, I can fix anything. Exactly. So now this is the focus. Now the five-week deadline is happening. Yeah. I'm a little nervous for Jackson, honestly. I just... Things are just coming to an end so quickly. I feel like they're going to... I honestly feel like... Yes, they're they're probably going to find a cure, hopefully. But we're going to start to see, like, a transition. Like, he's going to yeah. start to turn into that bubbly gum ugly. Bubbly gum ugly. The manimal. The manimal looking yeah. thing. Hashtag watch hopefully the Hopefully not. But I, the, he has to start, like, transforming. Yeah. Because... Uh, what was his name? Who transformed again? Uh, Kovacs. Kovacs had yeah, nine Kovacs. weeks, and they only have five weeks left. So I'm assuming it's it's time it's time to speed up that little process. Yeah, it's but that's a lot of pressure, man. Mm-hmm. Like I, also, I have deadlines at work, but five weeks to save the world like that. Why is he so calm? Jackson? Yeah. That's kind of how he is, right? But like, if you were turning into a mammal, mammal, my mammal, would you be this calm? Uh, no. Well. I wouldn't be calm. No, you wouldn't. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how I would handle it. I would probably like travel. You know, do everything I wanted to do in life before I became the animal. Because I would assume life is pretty much over, right? Like, I mean, you're gonna can have you a different even travel at this point. Oh, I, I <laughs> try and stop me, Jordana. I guess you are the manimal. I would make a bucket list of all the things I wanted to do before mm-hmm. I became the manimal, in the off chance that as a manimal I get hunted down by their surviving humans and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, you know what? Okay, people in the YouTube chat, Diane Sutherland, I'd rather be warm than dead. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, or alive, you can always get money. I don't mind being cold sometimes. Yeah, there you go. I like it, Diane. Um, so yeah, so anyways, Jackson says, yeah, you can figure this out, but what happens if you can't? Mm -hmm. And Mitch says, well then, checkmate. Right. Oh. Oh, that's it? <laughs> like, holy hell. It's, it's, it's a done deal. Imagine that for a second. Like, it's already creepy enough, already crazy enough. You see animals changing. You see them turning. You see them freaking out. Yeah. And to have somebody just go, yeah, you know what? There's literally nothing we can do. It's just gonna, it's just all going to come to an end. I don't know. I, I don't think I can handle it. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to handle it either. Like you said, just go travel the world. One little thing that I just thought about, going back to the alligator thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If Jackson was in that hole, Mm -hmm. and he has, because remember how the ants went around him? So doesn't he have, like, some kind of The alligator was never going after him. It was going after Mitch. Right, but why didn't Jackson, like, get in the way of it? Like, couldn't he have maybe stopped? That's a very good point. He could have probably stopped that situation. Why didn't he? How selfish. I was just thinking about that while watching that scene. Like, Yeah. Diane yeah. Sutherland on YouTube says, let's be honest, I think Jackson has come to terms with this stuff. I think he has, yeah, too. Yeah, probably. On some level. But you have to... I mean, you would think that if you come to terms with something, on some level, he'd kind of give up mm-hmm. on the whole situation. But it seems like he hasn't. He would rather save the, save the animals than himself. Absolutely. Absolutely, Diane Sutherland. Um, so, yeah. So, if, if nothing can change, checkmate. Yeah. That's it. Um, Jamie makes it very clear Logan, which is kind of a, kind of a mood killer. I know that Mitch is coming after me. Yeah. I didn't like that. Why did she throw this out so early? I mean, I thought there was going to be a thing. I guess there's still time. I think, I think because she's still suspicious. Yeah. I think she's like suspicious of him still and he's being awkward and like weird. She doesn't trust him. She has to bring Mitch into the picture. Like, oh, look, I actually have someone like. You know, I like how home. quickly he was like, well, yeah. okay, this Mitch fella, who the hell is Mitch? Right. I want to know, everybody watching in YouTube, if, if we're pitching Logan and Jamie mm-hmm. or if we're pitching Jamie and who's, Mitch. Who's team Jamie Logan like I yes. am? For some reason, I have a, I don't know. I just, I like this Logan guy. Diane Sutherland in the YouTube chat brings up a good point. The tunnel was tight, so turning around might have yeah, been hard. It's, it's true. very true. Very true. Or an excuse, Jackson. Mm-hmm. That's not a good enough excuse. You could have just, like, um, jumped over him. Like, yeah, or pulled him out and yeah. gotten it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, so, yeah. So, um, Logan's getting jealous, even though he doesn't. But, I mean, I guess when you remove a girl's toe, there's something that grows between uh-huh. you. I think, how is, 
Okay, I honestly think that Logan has been stalking her. Not stalking her, but knows about her. Because wasn't she, like, a journalist back yeah, in the yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe he, like, somehow is in love with her from afar or so something. think he really knows about her? How did he find her? That he was, uh... How did he have things in his bag about her? Well, I think that the company that hired him, this is one explanation, the company that hired him gave him information on who they knew was going after the, the thing, too. But also, maybe he's just a creepy stalker. I don't... Well, it's just weird because when we learned about the people that he was working for today, they didn't look very... I don't know. They just kind of looked like weird people. It didn't look like they were working for any company. Yeah. They were just like ruggish men. Like Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't. They weren't very formal. They weren't. Where are your Where are your badges? They don't. Sirs? Yeah. So I. They just look like people were, you know, hunters or. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, by the way, David Baldwin in the YouTube chat just asked, Cameron, would you sleep with somebody that cut off your toe? <laughs> I mean, not just randomly. If it was they did it to save my life, then yeah. But not. <laughs> just because. Hey, what's up? Boom. No. Uh, but very good question, David Baldwin. Um, okay, so Sly Airlock. Sly Airlock says Jamie and Mitch. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Veitch says Jamie and Mitch. Is everybody Jamie and Mitch team so far? So far, Jamie and Mitch. Everybody's David Baldwin says Jamie and Mitch. What the heck? Interesting. Keep, keep telling us. We want to keep knowing. Uh, Darielle and Abe. Still something going on here. Yeah. I don't. I don't really quite get it. I don't either. Uh, Dariella, very attractive woman. Mm -hmm. Abe, very attractive man. Mm -hmm. Teddy bear. I want to hug him so much. Seems like the nicest guy in the world. Would do anything to protect you. Yeah. I get the attraction to Abe. Right. Aside from a physical attraction, don't really get it uh, for Dariella. I don't either. She seems irrational. She seems irrational. She seems heartless. <laughs> Why is why is Abe into her? I okay. I honestly, I said this last week. I think that Abe finds comfort in her because they're both like badasses, first of all, mm -hmm. and like she's alone in this world too. Remember, she was saying how she doesn't even have like a team. She doesn't yeah. have family. She doesn't have a team. She doesn't have anyone, and he doesn't have anyone either. I feel like they just have like a lot of things in common. Yeah, I feel like he sees like. A girl version of him in her, which is okay. kind of true. Like, okay. you know, she is a badass. She's good at fighting and protecting and yeah. whatnot. So I think that kind of like attracts him towards her. I, you know? And she's yeah. been pretty open with him these past couple of uh, about just know, everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's definitely true. I just think that she strikes me as somebody who's kind of defeatist, right? Yeah. And Abe I mean, does not I at wouldn't, all. I wouldn't be attracted to her because if right. I was him. Just, she just seems, like you said, irrational. <sighs> Let us know what you think, y'all. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff at After Buzz TV. ABTV Zoo is the hashtag. But maybe we'll see a soft side because Abe is a teddy bear. We'll see maybe. a soft side come out of her. He'll bring it out. I hope so. I hope that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And not just... Yes. Again, Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, not only... See, we did actually see a little soft side of her at the end of the episode when Chloe was dying and she was literally trying to oh save God, her and she was like dying. dying i don't know if she's dead or whatever <laughs> but uh, dariella was pounding on that door and she was kind of crying and saying sorry yeah. i can't save you and kind stuff. of crying she was crying i don't know tearing eyes it was kind of crying so i mean obviously she she's starting to feel you know yeah some kind of you know friendship with these people she yeah knows. i mean i guess so i guess you're right uh maybe but she's just one of those people it's like you know that they love you yeah but they're never gonna say it yeah right mm -hmm. dariella dariella uh diane says i still don't like her i don't like her either, I, dariella we... i agree i'm just trying to look at the positive light at the end of the tunnel with dariella uh diane sutherland also says abe is lonely and needs to find love mm -hmm. but why not anyone else see i don't i agree why not anyone else uh she better not be dead that's right chloe yeah. better not be dead uh everybody's still saying jamie and mitch kobe one kenobi says j mitch is the hashtag uh so anyways i don't i don't see it long term for abe and dariella mm -hmm. um i don't even know if i see dariella long term in terms of the living show, yeah um on the show <laughs> but we'll see you we'll never see. know you never know you never never know
Uh, we see Davies is the one behind the uh, the sloth being captured. Yeah. The sloth, though. What about the sloth? This earthquake thing. This is an confused. interesting theory. What, so, what has you confused? Yeah, talk to me. So why, how is it causing these earthquakes? I kind of missed the whole point. So there's, there's something that the sloth, and everybody correct me if I'm wrong, but this is as best as I could understand it. The sloth has this ability to send out like a signal. Okay. May, not really. I don't, like I don't think it's mentally, but I think it's something. like a frequency. Right. Um, that thereby in turn somehow causes an earthquake. And it appears to be that it the moths, or the moths, the moles, <laughs> the moths, like, the moles are attracted to the signal mm. and they are underground and they cause, they're like, like you know, that's okay. an earthquake podcast listener. Um, but so I think that's how it works. Mm -hmm. I don't think the moles are acting alone by themselves. I think they hear the signal and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I... I this is still like a fine line for me, right? In this show, it's it's like does the, does the mutation add abilities or does it take pre-existing things and just amp them up? I have no idea. And, I am so and I feel I, like that the the rules are always different on that. It might amp them up because the whole situation with the ants isn't that something that like that's true. true. So yeah, maybe, that is true. Maybe it does like amp everything up. But can I, do things actually send out frequencies? I don't know. Do you guys know? I don't know. These Somebody, scientists, call us. Frequencies? Um, oh, Sly Airlock says that Chloe was alive in the previews. I didn't see her in the previews. I believe you, uh, but I didn't see her in the previews. Oh, I thought that was somebody well, good else. good thing she's alive. She can't die. She's the leader of the group. Uh, yeah. Um, they also ask why are they on about sex all the time? Because they're, the world is ending. <laughs> they want to do it. Um, they are trying to lay Jen says so. They are trying to collect every animal that is doing more than just act crazy. I think. Uh yeah, because it's it's. I think they're trying to get all the the ones that they suspect have the second level mutation, mm -hmm. right? I think so. So that they can Whatever wrap they their have. head around what that is and, and and how the switch flipped is how Mitch put it. So they can figure out how Jackson's switch flipped, and that's an interesting thing, by the way. So it sounds like. It's not really a gradual thing. It sounds like one day something is going to trigger and then boom. him to flip the switch. I have a sneaking suspicion that at the beginning of next week's episode, Chloe's going to be in that glass thing with gas, and, and he's, he's going to come up and go, whoa, I need to save her, and that's when the switch is going to flip. Triggers it. I can see that happening. It's like a adrenaline pump type of thing. I can see that. Could be a good one. Uh, David Baldwin says, we saw them bring a body on the plane. We don't know if she's dead or alive. Well, that is true. That is true. Uh, Diane Sutherland says, that is how I would like to go out. Okay. Well. Just out with the gas? That's depressing, but thank you for sharing. Uh, by the way, if you would like to listen to this show and everybody else hear it after Buzz TV, subscribe to that podcast, Jordana. Subscribe to the podcast yeah. on iTunes. Rate you? us five stars. Leave us a comment. And uh, we'll pop up on your phone every week, just like the animals. We will attack your iPhone. We will. Um, let's see what else happened in this one. What else happened in this one? Mitch told us a few things about slaw or moles. Moles, they're ugly looking fellas. With their little hands and. There's Ooh. there's like so first of all there's a second thumb, That's which isn't digs, really a second thumb. But it helps dig. Helps dig. It's an extended, it's what, like extended. Extended something. Something bone. I see that my handwriting. I can't even. Uh, a wrist bone. That's what it is. Extended mm -hmm. wrist bone, which is creepy. So it's not even a thumb. It's like if, if this were to just come out. Right. That's gross. So it just helps them dig, dig, dig. And they have these weird like. It looks like hands. It does on their face. Yeah. There's a reason these things live underground, right? I do love how they pointed out that Mitch is like a mole. Did you? Yes. That, out? that was so funny. They, all they do is work, work, and they're just like these funny, like weird little creatures. <laughs> and They're not wrong. Yeah. Uh, they also smell in stereo. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting thing. I didn't know that. Uh, well, not, I wasn't very well versed in the uh, the mole department before They this. work alone and they only come together to procreate. Yes. Which is, I mean, I get it, right? Yeah. Relationships are messy, so you just, you know. Uh, but yeah, so moles, gross-looking MFers, but they're all dead. So they died because of the... So I am confused. How did they know that these moles were following them? Because they, Chloe, or who said? 
that they had a gas that the moles chamber. were following the sloth mm -hmm. so they figured out the moles were following the sloth because once the building fell they went under uh I... and saw that they were right below who saw the so did davies and them saw, see that because they said that they were all dead because they put gas in there there was like a gas oh well that, yeah yeah so they initially that must have been what, what happened? Yeah, yeah yeah okay uh, either that or there was a leak, but I think it was probably that. A leak would be kind of upset. Right. Uh, star nose, mo nose moles. That's what they are. Star nose moles? What? That's what that's Oh, star nose moles. Oh, that's thank you, Kobe-1 like little... Kenobi. Uh, oh, yeah. Kobe-1 Kenobi also says, I think Jackson is going to go through some psychological problems in the next episode. I agree with you. I, I think he's going to flip agree. out. The switch is going to flip. Mm -hmm. It's going down. Um, so... Flash to the woods, Jamie, Logan, it's a mess. Uh, they burn the money to stay alive, regrettably, in Logan's department. Um, and guys come after them. And these guys do not look professional. They do not look professional. And I always like when characters like these come into these shows and they walk in like, so we found ya. So like, how did you. So where's our money? Where did you, how did you find him? Yeah. How Was did it, you, have you been tracking how did you track them you saw the fire maybe but how did you know the, the fire was going to be somewhere over there i don't know if the plane crashed and all that this is, you they know. don't look like the smartest guys neither and here's the thing guys right <laughs> it's the end of the world but like shower this you is what i so gross. this is what i'm saying what are they yeah. see this is why i think these guys aren't after the the what was it the the, the cheetah no oh after the yeah the cheetah, uh oh. jaguar no what was it it was a yes thank the you leopard. my god um what they don't look like they're looking for anything i think they just want their money I agree. back so i think that logan's doing something else sketchy yeah i agree you know so i don't there's something going on he actually even says like i didn't tell you the full picture which and he still doesn't yeah it's like you kind of leak a little bit more like he says they paid me 10 grand and then there was more money so like, well, why did you take the more money? Mm -hmm. What else is at play? He doesn't give us did much. Did he have a girlfriend? We never knew. He didn't. He never answered that Ooh, question. What if they go to Karakat and his girl's there? <laughs> I don't think he even has a girlfriend. All right. I would pay to see that. That would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so we find out about the down payment for this other thing, and there's money, and it's like, Logan, thanks for cutting off my toe, but also kind of get lost. But also, am I attracted to you? But, like, do it. Yeah. It's like so many feelings. I feel like she's feeling all these emotions at this point. I feel bad for her. I do too. Poor Jamie. But at well, the same time, I love time, Jamie this season. But I love that they put her away from the group. I do too. I'm, I'm so scared. happy about that. And judging by the previews for next week, she's going to be in Karakat. Mm hmm. Um, and it looks like they're doing a very Walking Dead type of thing there. Yeah, right. I can see that. Did you watch that yeah. show? No, I, I don't watch it. You understand? Like oh, when they I go to exactly the town and yeah. all that? That's what it That's seems what it, like, yeah, I right? Saw that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll be exciting. It'll tap into that kind of thing. It's always kind of a bummer, though, because I hope you hope that Karakat's going to be like a safe haven where there's more people like, let's solve the animal problem. I think that's problem. what she thinks, but I honestly, like I said before, I think they said this last week. I really, how does she know that there's. Right. How what do you, do, how, do you how does she really know that animals haven't attacked that city? Right. Absolutely. I don't know. Like, you don't. There's no way of knowing. Shady Logan. Yeah. Logan Who said that? Diane. Yeah, th yeah, Diane. Uh, David Baldwin is Logan still alive? Yes. Uh, at the end of the episode, we hear yeah. we hear him screaming for Jamie. And he and then see the way what she goes was. back. She's like, "Come in, Logan." Like, yeah, I'm coming. Like, what do you you? Okay, I get he like helped you with the toe, but leave. There's him. some feelings there. I see him. I see him. So she's gonna have to. Ju I bet Mitch finds her. Mm -hmm. Right when she's like, "I've given up. I'm gonna make out with Logan." That's what's I, gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Logan is... I, do you think Logan's going to be around for a while? I think he's going to be around for a yeah. while. I think he... if Between him and Dariella, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like he would he would be here longer. I, I agree. Uh, what I if there's like a, thir like a triangle of love there? Yeah. Like, oh, oh. Like, like the whole... Like Mitch, Jamie, and Logan, you know? What if Jamie can't choose between them? It because makes them compete. Who can kill a tiger faster or something? I don't know. I just feel like maybe at this point, Jamie might feel like, hmm, yeah. Mitch hasn't been looking for me. I mean, I don't think he's been looking for me. So much time has passed. Yeah. I've been all alone. And this guy pretty much saved me. You right. Know? Right. You never know. You never know. We'll see. 
I do like Jamie this season, I, though. Yeah, I like her a lot better, actually. Than it's like kind of last season, it was like, all right, Jamie, we get it. Yeah. You're like trying to do the story, and I love you, but. You need to relax. Now you're in like life saving mode, mm-hmm. and I dig it. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty rad. Thank you, Diane. She says, I agree with Cameron. I don't know what about, but. It's Jamie's birthday in real life. Oh! The actress. That's awesome. Happy Thank birthday. you for that tidbit, David Baldwin, in the yeah. YouTube chat. Um, when they're crawling through the tubes with the moles. Yes. This is something I would not be okay with. Like, you wouldn't do that? In general, just the idea of, of crawling in these tight spaces. Mm-hmm. I just got the tubes. chills. Have you ever been? I went spelunking a couple times before. What's in spelunking? caves, like cave. Oh. Not cave diving, but like you go through the caves. Mm-hmm. And there was one where I was in water up to my head oh. and had to go through like a tunnel that was just like rock and all this stuff and there's bats flying everywhere mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is kind of my hell. There's no way I would ever do that. I get very claustrophobic. Yeah. I would not make it. I would not make I it wouldn't either. 10 feet. I barely made it through that. And the fact that there's like an alligator on the other end. Yeah. No. Also, what? What? At what? Uh, what how did the alligator the get down there? What was the point of the alligator? And how did, how it, did wait, it get there? How? Because it was all blocked off. Mitch hit a dead end. I think that maybe it was born down there. That's but where the did it come answer. from? Did it come from that dead end? Did it just like pop out of that area? Uh, it, my, pff, beats me. Right? I don't understand. Unless that. it was just a giant mole and we're all labeling it as an alligator. <laughs> That, that's the only explanation I can possibly think of. So Chels M90 in the YouTube chat says, Oh, Drats, I can't listen to this. I'm a week behind. So this is what you should do, Chels. You should go on to AfterBuzz TV YouTube channel slash iTunes, if you would rather listen instead of watch, and listen to the one we did for last week's episode and the first two episodes. Uh, Kobe Wan Kenobi, I think Karaket will have cult that sacrifices people to zoo animals. Oh, is that? That's what it could that's be. That's what it kind of looked like that in the is. preview. Or let's keep them happy, you know, and buy us time by feeding people to them one by one. If they do it, something oh wrong, God. throw them off to the animals. That is just not good. Uh, Kobe one Kenobi also says maybe it was a sewer gator, uh, a sewer gator flushed down the toilet hmm. like a goldfish. That's possible. I want to see the goldfish flip out. I don't think I want to see that. I would. I would. I would like to see that. I would like to see very small things. Flip. I mean, we the ants last My ants. week. Powerful little creatures. By the way, I think it was David Baldwin that tweeted me a picture of the the, um, the electricity yeah. in the mouth from the ants, which yep. was pretty exciting. Um, but like you said, Jackson did not get in front of, of Mitch and the alligator, and that's not cool. So Jackson... I just uh, feel like there's something Jackson could be doing. Yeah. I don't know what, but again, we saw the whole thing where the ants went around him. So I just feel like he could be kind of stopping situations. Yeah. He knows that. he. I feel like he knows, oh, ants are going around me. They're not calling on me. So yeah. he obviously has some kind of power going on. Sorry about that. My phone. Um, so we have a debacle in the woods. Jamie, Logan, dudes who are dirty and have guns. Mm-hmm. Jamie, they're at gunpoint because the guy in classic nature, hey, Who's going to tell me first I'm going to shoot the other person? I don't need both of you. Okay, dude. Uh, and so he points at the gun. Jamie acts quickly. See? Goes after him, takes him out, and she gets a little help with the wolves, from the wolves. Perfect that timing. That come in and attack the guys, too. They Why didn't they attack Jamie? I have no idea. I think it was just, like, luck that they attacked them. Does she have the mutation, too? Oh. I don't yeah. Did she get attacked by anything yet? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe she was born with it. Maybe that's the story. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you, Alexis. Well, they didn't attack Logan either. Uh, just in the YouTube chat, I think you changed your username on me. It says, do you think they will see any fish? I hope so. Kobe One Kenobi says, bring the killer cycle goldfish. Absolutely, Kobe One Kenobi. This is all I want to see. I want to see all the goldfish what that were flushed that... come back to life. Thank you. Thank you, studio audience. Uh, I want to see them come back to life and attack their former owners. How do you think they would attack? Would it be like this Finding oh. Dory situation where it just like gets on your head and starts like, you know. Just hitting it? Hitting it. That sounds about right. What else could a goldfish do? Uh, f- eat you very little by little. <laughs> that sounds horrifying. <laughs> it's horrifying. Uh, 
Diane Sutherland, what did Logan do? Nothing. Exactly. Give me the loser horns for, for Logan. Give me that for Logan. Thank you. That's for you, Logan. Hey, gotta calm down. I like the Logan character. Well, give us something happy for Logan then. What do you mean? I'm, I'm testing Alexis right oh. now with the soundboard. Logan's uh, really good she's looking. Searching. <laughs> uh, but you're right, Dan. He did nothing, no matter how we feel about him. Um, so much happened in this episode, yet it seems like nothing, nothing happened. happened. Yeah, it was, I, mean, I feel like little things happen that we just need to know about. It's like it was like one of those episodes where like where we found out information that we needed. Yeah, but it wasn't very exciting. Yeah. We didn't see any gore or blood. Very very little of that. we did we Just as like, you said earlier though the moles are all dead from the gas thing and all that and blah blah mm-hmm. blah and we find out from the presentation the party uh that everybody has to go to to get the heart print which i didn't know was a thing apparently from now davies yeah that's how uh, you open the door and the way to get it is by a little microphone that you need to put near it so you can hear the heart very odd but we find out that this gas tk what is it tk14 tx14 or tx14 is davy's solution to wipe out the animal population which at this point it's still a question of like exactly what the plan is right because we talked last week obviously a lot of animals have the mutation and i think almost all of them do I'm pretty sure like 99.9 percent of them have the mutation yeah and i don't know that there's even two of each like if we're going with the noah's ark theory which is kind of what this seems yeah. to be based on i don't know like what what is the plan here because you're essentially so, talking about wiping out everything so is this is this what he's trying to do i'm just gonna wipe out everything that has a mutation and once everything's wiped out with the mutation hopefully there's some animals that made it out alive. Like it seems like that. Is that what they're trying to? Like I, I don't understand what you other would way. You think that there because we haven't heard thus far. At least I mean, if you guys are watching right now or listening right now and want to prove us wrong, you're more than welcome to. But I don't think he's ever said something like, he, "Oh, we have some he unaffected have animals. animals. They were at the zoos. They didn't get touched or something. No, they don't have anything. I from um, what I know. Yeah. So I find that a little odd. But maybe we'll figure out that they do. Um, Kobe says the mutation will give goldfish psychic powers. Holy crap. I hope not. My goldfish has seen a lot of things. Um, I really hope not. David Baldwin says, don't forget the plankton is next. Yeah. Remember that's another, that's one of the five, right? Mm -hmm. Of ones that are necessary to human life, which I think is absolutely insane. Um, so they, they try to get a sample from the moles. But that obviously goes south because of the gator and, and all that. We find out, this is slightly before the party, so forget the timeline here, but we find out that this party where they're trying to win people over to the Noah objective. Raiden Global. Is it Raiden Global? Oh. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, <laughs> Raiden Global. Not surprised. No. Not surprised. Anyways, I'm not surprised either. You're especially not surprised. You've not. you've predicted that since day one. Raiden Global has been behind everything. Maximus Games. I just finished this whole episode. Oh my God, Chloe. No, that's how we're feeling right now. Yeah. We'll talk about that scene in a few minutes here if you want to follow along. Right now, Raiden Global is having the party where they're trying to win people over. Now, if you're trying to win people over, you're pitching a, a solution to people. Mm. You think that the pitch would be a little bit more involved. Mm-hmm. Davies gets up there in a classic Davies way, and he's like, hey, listen, we got this thing, TX-14, we're going to use it, it's going to wipe him out, mic drop. And what he says, he's so, so sketchy. Tell us. He says, it's going to wipe out all the mutated animals. Humans will be totally safe. Yeah. He doesn't clarify that whole you know yeah the, the whole the thing humans that with hum- the mutations yeah, are screwed. they're screwed too yeah but all humans will be safe it's only gonna you know kill off all mutated animals yeah that's how it's gonna go we'll be okay literally but, that's but it. i that's still don't says. understand why if you're in a room full of people you're trying to win over including a lot of people from the iadge or yeah. whatever <laughs> that thing is called uh-huh. the aspca um then you think that they would have to further explain we have a contingency plan. We're not killing everything. We're going to be okay. This isn't going to screw with the ecosystem. Who made him in charge? Who, Davies? Yeah. Well, how was he in charge of this situation? 
That is a good question, Jordana. Is I want to know. The one who Give me a name. Who? How? What? Confused. Kobe One Kenobi says, what if the event was hosted by Jeff Goldblum? Well, then obviously nothing wrong could happen because mm-hmm. Jeff Goldblum is perfect. Uh, he solves things like this all the time. Watch Independence Day. <laughs> Don't watch the Independence Day sequel. Really terrible movie. Um, but yeah, so Davies. I, don't I mean, like, how is he in charge of Rating Global? Like, what? I'm just, I'm really confused. I'm not going to lie. Who put him in charge of this? I don't know, but he is a douche. Yeah, he completely is. <laughs> I just want to punch him in the face. Yeah. I hope that people I like him don't exist. I hope that a goldfish exist. eats him alive. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Can we make that happen? Let's make that happen. we pull that, that clip up? Uh, Kobe Wan Kenobi says, Obama made Davies in charge. I don't think that's quite accurate, but maybe... Maybe. Never know. I don't know if Obama lives in the zoo world, but we can find that out for you. <laughs> um, so we, we see the scientist who's responsible for kind of the testing on the sloth and all that mm. is also at uh, the, party. the party. They're also trying to get a heartbeat from this guy. No, no, I don't think right? it's a heartbeat because they put stuff in his drink. They wanted him to have like... A reaction so that the general came over and tried I know, to help I think him? they wanted him... Well, he had a heart attack. That wasn't the plan. They wanted him to, like, have a, some, you know, problems to go to some, the bathroom. Yeah. Like some problems you need Pepto-Bismol to solve. That is what yeah. they wanted from him. Yeah. But he ended up getting a heart attack. Yeah. So I guess... He, what and the hell? Mitch said that he tried this before and it was on a llama. So, obviously, you know, yeah. llama, human. Pretty much the same, Jordan. Pretty much the same, pretty I guess. Pretty much the same. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um... <laughs> David, what POTUS? What are you talking about, David Baldwin? Um, who died and made him king? I don't. I don't know. I hey, don't know. Good. That's, good question. Who was above Davies before? Hopefully, it was a guy named Davis, just to confuse <laughs> people. Yeah, but so, so the guy has a, like a heart attack. Good job, Mitch. Yeah. Just when you're trying to convince Abe that you don't screw things up, yeah. you go and do something like this. So they go down to the basement. They're obviously looking around the the contingency plan because they can't get the heartbeat because. Uh, Davies recognizes Dariella is okay. We're just gonna hold him hostage. She kind of played that one well, though. I liked it. I liked yeah. it. I approved. I'm like, you know what? Don't be sneaky. It's the end of the world. Get the thing done. Yeah. Get in there. Get out. Boom, bang, bang. This is. Um, these are. See, like this scene is where I liked her. Shows off her badass side. Boom. Yeah. I got the gun. I'm the one in charge. See this side I like of her yeah. when she's like, you know what? Yeah, I am gonna own. Yeah. This situation. You're right. Like, like we're gonna. That's, that's cool. And not then, defeat us. And then when it's like her and Chloe, and you know, there's like three soldiers, and she just yeah. shoots them all. Yeah. You know, badass. Boom. I think she shot two of them with one she bullet did. too, right? She did. What the hell? Like wanted style. Uh, she like curves the bullet. See. This side of her is perfect for the team because, like, they need her protection, you know? They do. They need somebody who's willing to do the hard yeah. stuff. The nitty she, gritty. She, she can do it. At the end of the day, you need a trigger puller. Mm-hmm. She's going to do that for you. Yep. Unless she leaves because she's scared. Hopefully she's not. I don't think so. Would she, uh, would but she her, her and Abe? Chloe. Would she leave Abe? I, I don't know. I think so. Abe, Abe can handle his own shit, right? She has no one, though. Uh, Flotus. Uh, what are you talking about, y'all? Flotus, Potus, y'all are crazy in the YouTube chat You guys talking about Obama tonight. still? I what? think so. They're still talking about Obama. Uh, Flotus, Flotus, yeah. Diane Sutherland, that is where I liked her. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's where we liked yeah, her, too. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Um, so, Chloe and Jamie are running down that other tunnel because... Chloe and Dariella. Or, <laughs> thank you. Chloe and Dariella <laughs> are running down that other tunnel because Chloe said, he told us to go right, we're going to go left. The, guy go, the guys go right, they find the sloth, they go left, and that's where all the gas is happening. How did it leak? Oh, I think it got the shot. The bullet, yeah. yeah. And so they're trying to run away from that. I have a and bad feeling about that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This gas is just like slowly like coming towards them. And <laughs> Chloe gets stuck behind somehow. I girl think needs maybe to do some trapped. more cardio. Thank you, Jordana. She put them running shoes on, girl. Because Get Daryl going. got out of there so quickly. Chloe just kind of was like jogging, I guess. She's getting it. Not. Dariella was make ready. It. Yeah. Uh, and she sealed the door. Yeah, she thought That's she was again, gone. That's again, again, I mean, you need somebody who can do that. Yeah. Because what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Right. So if that means, I don't know why I use that reference, but <laughs> sometimes you got to kill the goose to make it good for the gander. That's right. The more you know. <laughs> uh, um, what are y'all talking about? Y'all are crazy. Thank you for commenting, though. 
Um, so, this last scene, this is the one that, uh, uh, who was our friend that was talking about that? Maximus Games was freaking out about a second ago, as was all of us. Uh, Chloe, she's <laughs> locked behind that sealed door. She's, she's just freaking, freaking out. freaking out. But I love that the only concern that Chloe has is to save Jamie. Is to save Jamie. It's not Jamie. even like, she's like, open the door. She's literally like, yeah. what's the place called? The what? That Jamie's going to? Oh, uh, Karaket. 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 Yeah, Karaket. Karaket. That's all Karaket. she's saying. Like, Jamie's like the only thing that's on her mind right now. Like, we need to save Jamie. Yeah. Love and Chloe so then much. she even opened the phone and like left it left by it her head because she knew that somebody would look at it. I love Chloe too. And by the way, she said that she loved. <gasps> that was such a big uh, part. How Jackson, did Jackson. What the hell? Bell time. Finally. And then I need to find the balance. I need to find the balance between being a leader. And, and being love in love with, with you. you. Yes. That's right. And then, boom, scene, make out. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh okay. <laughs> no, Cameron. I'm going to no. do it, Alexis. No. Don't hold me back. Stop this it. This isn't who I am. No. Get out. Anyways, uh, so there's obviously a whole other element to this, right? So Jackson is going to see this, and he's going to be upset, and that's when I think the switch is going to flip. But mm -hmm. I have a question for you, Jordana. What? A, is Chloe going to live? Okay. B, does she have the mutation? Is that why she's freaking out? Or is it just simply because there's lack of oxygen in there now? What do you mean? So she's in a room where the gas comes in, right? Yeah. Is she going down because she has the mutation and she's having a negative reaction oh, gotcha, to gotcha. the gas because she has a mutation or mm -hmm. just because oxygen has left the room? I think... <laughs> well, Thank you. You have 30 a, seconds. she's going to live. There's no way they're killing her off. There's no way. Yeah. B, you know what? I don't think she has the mutation. I think it's just like the lack of oxygen. Oh. But I don't know because it's supposed to kill off people who only have the mutation. Yeah. That's what... Davies said. Yeah. So maybe, but but she's not dead. So let's see. It's just not yeah. She, there's no way they kill her. Right? I don't know. I don't think they can. She hasn't I been attacked. Not. Would I'm you be? Way. I. Here's the thing. I don't want Chloe to die. Yeah. There's no way. I don't want her to die. I don't think it'll happen. But I kind of respect it when shows kill off main characters. So if it happened, I would kind of be. Uh... I'd be upset about it, but I'd be like, okay, that sucked. How will they handle this now? You know I, what I mean? But I just don't think it's the appropriate time to kill off Chloe. I don't think it is either. Like, sure, I, I totally agree that sometimes you need to kill off like main characters. Yeah. and kind of makes the story, but just, I don't see it. Yeah. I just don't see it happening yet. If they want to kill her off, Maybe that's we'll... not the way they're yeah. going to kill her off. That's true. Kobe Wan Kenobi, YouTube chat. He says maybe the gas affects people without the mutation. Maybe Davies was just maybe lying. Davies is a liar and it affects everyone. It's gonna kill everyone who's That's outside. That's very true. That's very true. Where the toxic gas is at. I could see that happening. Hey Maximus. Um, so yeah, so we see Chloe. She's freaking out. We're gonna find out. Looks like next week, um, we're gonna see Jamie go to Karaket. We're gonna see all that happen. Uh, Jordana, any other thoughts on the tonight's show before we get into predictions? Nothing really. Like I said before, it was a good... I mean, it wasn't my favorite yeah. episode. We got information that we needed, but uh, as I, much as I hate the gore... Yeah. And I always miss it. gag when I see things happen, I kind of missed it this yeah, episode. I did too. I think, I think this was an episode where they're setting up for Something. a crazy episode yeah. to happen. Hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. Um, Jordana, we're going to get your predictions. Also, you all out there in YouTube chat and all that. Friends, tell us what your predictions are. We'll get to you after hours. So let's do that now. Oh, and now, the lights are freaking out. TV predictions. Jordana Morphin, what are your predictions? Okay, well, I don't think, I don't think Chloe's gonna die, but I don't know. It's hard to predict anything right now, to be yeah. quite honest, cause just because we didn't see much happen. Yeah. I do agree with you that I think they're gonna find Chloe, like that she's, you know, kind of out yeah. and unconscious, and that is going to trigger Jackson. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. his, I don't know, emotions. Like, oh. The switch is going to flip. Yeah. yeah. Something's going to happen with that. I think that's what's going to trigger him. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, the sloth. They need the sloth. Are they going to get the sloth? I honestly don't know. I don't know either. I'm excited to find out. 
I don't honestly. It's kind of hard to predict this this week. I think that I agree with you. I think that um, the Jackson switch will flip as a result of seeing Chloe. Yeah. I think that Jamie and Logan are going to hook up. Jamie and oh, oh. next episode. Next Has episode. To uh, toe or no toe, they're gonna go at it. <laughs> um, pff, just like you know, put a sock on. Um, but I, I think that they're gonna kind of have a thing. By the time Mitch gets to them. Yeah. And then she's going to have to kind of make a choice. Do you think she will choose Mitch or Logan in the end if there is some kind of love triangle there? I think that in the end, she'll choose Mitch. Mitch yeah. I think she has uh, to get through the Logan, Logan stage. And Logan will end up with Dariella or something. Oh. Or he'll just die off. I don't know. Yeah. Probably, he'll probably just die off. Um, but yeah, I think next week is going to reveal a little bit more about the mutation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and exactly... I think we're going to start seeing the foundation being laid next week of exactly how we're going to, at least how we're going to figure out how to fix, fix it. How to turn on and off yeah. that switch. Like, even if we don't know what the switch is, we're going to know what we have to do to figure that out. Right. Uh, if that makes sense. Yeah, Diane Sutherland so. says, Chloe's alive. More about Jackson's mutation. Jamie doesn't die. Everything is hunky-dory. <laughs> it's a very good prediction. Uh, we have Just... Uh, you changed your name, so I just don't... Just Just in the YouTube channel. They will get to Jamie as the bear is about to maul her and deshoots her. Huh. Well, I hope they don't shoot I hope they, Jamie. I hope no one gets shot. Uh, Poor Logan. Yeah, Maximus. Logan. Maximus Games. I like Logan, too. I Maximus. do, too. Um, and then uh, Kobe One Kenobi says, I think Jackson will infect Chloe somehow. That's interesting. Maybe he already infected her with that kiss. Ooh, infected her with love. Ooh. I like it. Uh, Jordana, any other thoughts? That's it for me tonight. All right, what about gang. you? That's it for me. All right. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks for commenting in the YouTube chat. Thanks for tweeting us throughout the week using that hashtag ABTVZoo. Remember to subscribe to the podcast in iTunes. SoundCloud, anywhere a podcast is found. Jordana Morph, and where can the people find you? Everyone, you guys can find me at Jordana underscore Morphin. Forgot on it for a second. And on Twitter. Yeah, I did forget for a second. You can follow me at the only camshaft, Instagram, Twitter, and James Lott Jr. Oh, James. We at James you. Lott Jr. everywhere. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.